Hi, my name is Jeff Taden. I'm a senior product development engineer at East West Manufacturing in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going to talk about the five factors for DFM. DFM is an engineering discipline uh, whose intent is to make sure that a product is manufacturable. And the goal of the DFM is to reduce the cost of a component without reducing its performance. So the first aspect of DFM is the design itself. So going through a design, making sure that the design adheres to good manufacturing principles for that type of design. The second aspect of DFM is to, to review the manufacturing process of the particular design. So all manufacturing processes have their limitations and their capabilities and a robust DFM will look at the manufacturing process and make sure it is appropriate for that type of design. The third aspect of DFM is material selection. So the material will be selected based on the uh, performance criteria of the, of the part, if it needs to be strong or if it needs to be soft, if it needs to be conduct electricity or heat. All of these uh, performance criteria will allow the engineer to select the correct type of material during the DFM process. The fourth aspect of DFM is environmental considerations. So all components are subjected to different uh, temperature and pressure and other environmental uh, phenomena which uh, have to be taken into account during the DFM process to make sure that design uh, can adhere to those. Uh, the last aspect, the fifth aspect of DFM is compliance and testing. So all products are subjected to different uh, compliance and testing standards, uh, whether they be ISO or ASM, ASTM, or different uh, standards that have to be maintained, and these need to be well understood in order to conduct a, an accurate DFM. Uh, for more information on DFM, uh, please subscribe to the East-West blog. Thank you.